What's up, everybody? This is Jay, and welcome to my Empire Season 5, Episode 17 recap of My Fate Cries Out. Let's get into it. Now, when the episode starts, we see Lulu, Lucius at the table, and he's saying, Look here, man. I will get you a new heart, okay? It will be all right. I will talk to the best doctors, and we will find you a heart. He said, Not even if we could, Pop. I would be so far down the donors list. But I'll do what it takes. It doesn't matter. Even with all the chemo and everything, I'm still damaged. The rest of my organs are damaged. It's just it's not worth it. He said, Don't give up. Up. You gotta fight. You know what this would do to your mother, to your brothers? And he said, look, Pop, I just gotta face the facts. I'm going with through with this tonight, and I need your help. What are you saying? You can't do that. Don't do it. He said, look, I've seen what happens when, you, when your heart stops, and I'll basically suffocate in front of everybody, in front of them. How would that do? What would that do to them? How would that make them feel? My mind is made up, okay? He said, no, don't you say that. Don't do it. I, I, I just can't lose you. I, I can't think it. I need some air. I, I got to get some air. And he walk off. And then we see Andre. He take a little deep breath. And he drop these papers on the desk. His mama and his brothers to read later after he's completed the deal of suicide. Now, next thing you know, we see Cookie and she's making breakfast and uh, she's talking with Terry. And Terry is telling her about how she wasn't prepared for this pregnancy and how she's not sure. And Cookie like, girl, it's okay, child. Ain't nobody always prepared. That's how it works. She said, yeah, but I'm not sure if I can carry this baby full term. And she said, oh, it's going to be all right. Andre loves you no matter what. She said, all right, well, could you just keep this between us until I know from the doctor? And then Andre walk in. Hey, what's up, baby? Let's go. Um, I want to go and hit the rink. Um, you know, and she said, what? I don't know, um, baby, if I can do that. And she started hemming and hawing, making up excuses. He like, but I told you I wanted to go to my favorite rink. And then Cookie listening. And she want to cover for Terry. So she say, I go, baby. I go. And she like, uh, um, well, mom, I'm, I was trying to do some of my favorite things with her. She's like, I'm sure uh, doing some things and spending time with your mama's on the list, too. He said, well, yeah. She said, all right, good. Go get the car, and we'll get ready to go. And then they hug up. Meanwhile, we see this uh, SUV rolling down the street, and uh, it's Lulu, and he driving, and he's sitting here thinking about what he went through with, uh, you know, uh, Andre when he was a little kid, and then he was playing with the gun when he was tweaking out, when he blew his legs off, and then uh, when he was crying and, you know, uh, sad or whatever, and he just remembered the good old days down memory lane, and all of a sudden, he drifted in another lane, oncoming traffic, crash, knock his self out and so then we see him waking and coming too and he's walking into the uh, house and he's a little woozy and so he still got a little cut on his head, little blood dripping. He go into the bathroom to clean himself up to adjust his situation. And uh, little did he realize he saw some dude in the back of him. He turned around and it was Bunky. So big Bunky Brewster is sitting there with the gold rope. He like, Bunky, is that you? And uh, he's remembering a flashback of when they smoked Bunky like in Newport. And so he like, what up, Lou? Yeah, what's going on, man? He like, Bunky, you dead. He like, what are you doing here? He said, oh, damn, it's like that. Ain't no, hey, Bunk, how you doing with the angels up in heaven? He said, you know you ain't with no angels. He said, hey, I could say the same for you, but we know you ain't dead yet. Uh, so what's going on, man? What, what's your problem, man? You... You uh, why you ain't gonna leave your yo youngster out there hanging like that, man? He like, what? Well, what are you talking about? He said, man, you know what I'm talking about. You know, he asked you for help, and you gonna leave him hanging. You know, I love the young blood, but uh, I, 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 he didn't did way worse than me, and you killed me. So I mean, I mean what is it? you a cold-blooded killer that's who you are lucius what you gonna do and then all of a sudden after him listening to it he just tried to pull out his gun like james bond and spin but he realized nobody was there his mind playing tricks on him meanwhile we see at the roller rink um we see 
uh, Cookie on standby while Andre is going around like it's a, you know, demolition derby. And so he finally slowed down half out of breath. He like, woo, ma, I remember the good old days. I used to come here with my friends. I felt like a prince. And we would rent out rooms and we would do this and that. And it was great. She said, yeah, that sound good. You was having a good time, baby. He said, yeah. And she said, yeah, it was all before, you know, bipolar kicked in. But now I feel like I can fly. And he start rolling backwards and he fall out and he laughing with his big old self. And she like, y'all better not hit my baby or I'm going to get you with your nail behind. He said, oh, mom, you and she said, you too. And he said, mom, you ain't going to hit me. You know, them love taps was only reserved for your favorites. She like, favorites? Come over here and get a sit down and get you some water, boy. And she said, what you mean favorites? I ain't have no favorites, Andre. The thing is, you was always my little man you was always so responsible and so that's why he said mom you don't have to tell me she said no no yeah i do baby yeah i do um i know when i went away you lost part of the best part of your life and i know it had to be hard on you and i'm sorry baby i love you and then he said i love you too and they hug up meanwhile we see at the studio Tiana looking real cute and sexy and uh see Devon and he got the music playing this nice track and uh it's sounding good she's sitting there feeling it vibing it he like yeah this is the part right here I think you'd be real good on this part then all of a sudden the door walk in and it's Hakeem and Maya all giggly up and stuff and he like y'all need to go I gotta lay down some track and she like oh so is this a thing he said oh uh well um I guess we're uh getting to know each other right now and enjoying each other company and so uh then she said oh is that right and he said so what happened to your princess necklace oh uh uh it broke he said it's all right i blessed the queen with a new one he said are you replacing it and then maya said it looks pretty affordable and he looked like oh okay i'm cheap i'm broke okay i got you subliminals and so uh he said my sister actually makes these and so I came and uh, Maya, they like, you know what? You all keep it. It sounds like you need it more than us anyway. Meanwhile, uh, at the hospital, we see Lucius. He getting treated and he laying there in the hospital bed when all of a sudden he hear another voice and he pop up and it's shine. He say, shine. I know I must have got hit hard when a dead man is sitting here talking to me. And then he remember when they uh, shot and pop shine uh shine uh, when he was in that uh airport hangar and he said what are you doing i know you're not here to make me tell me to kill my own son he said no nah, man i wouldn't do that i know you wouldn't do that and he kind of leaned back like ah thank you he said i because you's a bitch he like what he said what do you mean i was i was man enough to make sure you, you popped you he said huh no nah. You didn't even do that then. You had somebody else do the dirty work. Like the sucker MC that you is. You handed it off to somebody else. He said, well, I just, you wasn't worth it to me. That's why you wasn't worth it. But I did enjoy that profit that I made off of that last song we made. Yeah. How was that? And he said, yeah, that was a good one. But the end result is you's a bitch. And that's the, that's what the problem is. And he tried to get up and like choke him. Um, but basically he had some type of subliminal message that you ain't going to help Andre. Meanwhile, back at Empire, Becky is talking with Kelly Patel. And he's saying, where's Jamal? She's like, oh, he's on the honeymoon at the wedding. Oh, you missed it. The wedding was good. And the cake. Ooh, the cake was good. And then, uh, you know, Giselle and them were saying, well, we'll fill you in on the details. He said, well, yeah, I mean, I need to know what's going on. Why are we spending so much money? She said, well, we spending it on publicity and everything. He said, yeah, but is it working? Is it making people want to spend money and buy Empire Music again? And right when he was talking, we see uh, Thirsty come in with busted rhymes. And so he said, hey, we got a problem. The checks is bouncing. And then they all look and shook. And uh, Kelly like hmm, another empire struggle and so uh they all start scratching their head and, uh you know becky like what about lunch money meanwhile we see uh andre sipping on a little drink with q quincy that he guzzled the whole shot down in one gulp and burnt his chest put a little hair on his chest he didn't know what was happening and uh, andre laughed he said look man you gotta slip it slow it's like a hundred dollar steak you wouldn't eat it all in one bite you gotta cut it chew and enjoy here take this little other shot 
and you sip on that scissor a little slow and let it marinate. He like, all right, man, don't don't tell my mom. He's like, man, don't worry about that. And he took it and drank it. And, uh, you know, it would put a little hair on his chest to match that little perfectly round mushroom fro. He said, look, man, Quincy, you're a warrior, man. You're a fighter. He like, man, I don't know about being no fighter. He said then he got a phone call and it was Giselle talking about how Empire Money was messed up or whatever. And he like, wait a minute, what? And she said, you know what? I'm sorry. You, were, I shouldn't have called you and bothered you with this information. You go ahead and get some rest. I, I'll get in touch with the rest of the family and so he said you know what Quincy you're a warrior you uh you're not always not always about to fight but you never give up you keep that going meanwhile we see Cookie and she's getting a call from Big Porsche and she's telling her about how the checks ain't working and whatever so she decided to leave and right when she opened up the door there was Angie flashing the badge and she like "Uh uh-huh this bitch so next thing you know we see Cookie getting interrogated by Angie and she said uh you mind if I call you Cookie she said mind if I call you bitch she said okay angry black woman OG okay I understand but I ain't scared Anyway, what is going on with you and Empower Empire? She said, hmm, I need a lawyer. She said, Oh yeah, thirsty. I love him. But you won't be able to have him because you didn't pay him. Okay. She said, What did you got? She said, Here, you went to Panama, you took a trip with Damon Cross. He's a money laundering. You all didn't have money. Next thing you know, you got money on the tour. How does that work? Cookie Shaker. I don't know. She said, Okay. You won't snitch, OG move, I got you, but you're not going to be able to do nothing until you talk to me and you let me know what's going on, okay, Cookie? After I talk. Meanwhile, we see Andre, and he's coming back to Empire, and we see Becky, and she mad, talking about, man, my lunch has been canceled. What's going on now? And he said, well, look. We need to figure out a way where we can get some more uh, money into Empire uh, in order to pay our debts. And Becky was like, well, what if we throw a concert, you know, like a buffet, except we have Empire artists mixed with non-Empire artists. They said, well, we could bring in like a million in cash flow if it worked right, but we don't have a venue. No, this other place, they owe me a big favor so I can get that venue. And Andre said, all right, well, go ahead, check into that. And she said, all right, yeah, then that might help bridge until we can get some more money he said yeah i'm gonna go talk with kelly patel she said well he out of town he said yeah well we don't know we'll see if we can make that happen y'all do what y'all can meanwhile we see lucius and he's uh walking uh through the studio and uh next thing you know he hears this music playing with this uh old school player dancing doing the two-step and he realizes that's his daddy he like pops he like dwight what's up and so he's looking at him dance. He's like, you still remember the old routine, man? You still remember how it go? And he's smiling like, yeah, daddy, I remember. He's like, well, come on then. Let me see what you got. And then they get right next to each other, like two of the five heartbeats. And uh, they start uh, dancing. He do the little spin like Eddie Kang is back. Bang! Eddie Kang is back. And so they start laughing or whatever. He happy. And so he's like, man, it's good to see you. Dwight, how you doing? And he's like, uh, it's Lucy is not pop he like lucius where you where you get that man you something else come here and so uh he started thinking or whatever and he's like man you remember back what happened to me glad when i got taken out and so then uh he have a flashback to when this dude shot his dad right in front of him in cold blood when he was a shorty and he like yeah i remember i was there i saw it all he said yeah it was something all right but i went fast and it wasn't that much pain you know, imagine if I'd have been laying there in pain and I asked you to help me to ease that. Would you have been able to do it? And so he tried to leave. He like, I'm not doing that to Andre. He like, man, I, he, you, where you think you going? And every door and try to place he tried to leave, his pops would come out of it. He like, you, you going to let your boy suffer like that? And you got the chance to help and ease his pain. And so Lucius is uh, basically trying to fight against it. And he's saying, no, I can't do that. Not my son. He said, man, if you had a chance to go back and ease my suffering and my pain, would you have did it for me? I'd have did it for you. 
And so uh, next thing you know, he can have a little heartbreak moment and then they hug up. Next thing you know, he wakes up and he's still in the car this whole time and he don't even have a busted head. Like he don't even have a crackhead. And so he gets up and uh, it was a phone call from Thirsty asking where he is and they needed him. So he heads in on his way. Meanwhile, we see Cookie still getting interrogated by Angie. Angie says, so you in love with him? She said, oh yeah, Lucius, my husband? Yeah, I am. She said, no. <laughs> Damon Cross. She said, I'm married. And then she laughed. She said, I've been down that road three times before. She said, well, I can't help it that you a hoe. And she said, hmm, well, what about these? And she showed her the pictures they got of him and Damon, her and Damon Cross. She said, uh-huh, your husband doesn't even know. And she says, I don't know what you and him did down there. And your husband don't have to know. Then she click on the recorder. She said, so all I got to do is roll on Damon Cross and all this go away. She said, all your money and everything will be back in the account by the end of the day. And she said, well, you know what? I find it really sad that you using taxpayer money to try to get me to lie and stuff on Damon Cross on innocent people. And you ain't got nothing on me. And I'm tired of all of this that you're doing and chasing after us. Did Lucius uh, turn you out back in the day? I'm out of here, boo-boo kitty. And so she left. And then next thing you know, she goes to see Dame Dollar. And she's uh, come to see her. And he like, Cookie, I knew you'd be back. And she says, no, it's nothing like that. I'm here because you was here for me in the time when I needed it. And he's like, yeah, but you know, we got more than that. You met Lucius when you was 16. People grow apart. Now, let's see what a grown woman and a grown man could have. And she said, look, let me stop you right here. I'm going to tell you this because you were there for me when I needed your help. But I love Lucius and the, the feds are all over you and they will lie, steal, cheat, do whatever it takes to bring you down. And you need to watch your back. And then she walk off and he looking stuck and confused. Meanwhile, back at Empire, Andre is talking with Kingsley and he's like, hey, look. Let me uh, get that uh, information so I can go and meet Kelly Patel at that, uh, you know, billionaire boys uh, dinner. He like, look, I can't go back there. Don't you know that I'm like thrown out of that from what happened at Empire? And he's like, well, look, I'm just saying, just give me the address. And I'll make it there. He said, no, you don't get it, do you? Uh, I've been like, you know, made a mockery of and my career is over. And he like, but you can still make it up. You can still help. And they said, you know what? Look at this. Is this enough? And he like, what are you talking about? And then it said transfer complete $10 million. And he like, what is this? He like, this is half of what I owe Empire. And all you after this whole time was a check? He said, no, I was after a brother. And he gave him his handshake. And, he, you know, he didn't even know Kingsley was balling on the budget. Meanwhile... We see uh, Portia, and she's putting together the show. She making everybody go where they need to go. She on a roll. And then Cookie and Lucius, they pop up, and they like, hold up. What's going on? What is this? And they like, well, this is a, a show we put together with some Empire artists, with non-Empire artists to generate some revenue. And they said, how'd this happen? They like, well, we got uh, some money from uh, Kingsley. And she said, yeah, he came through for a change show. And uh, so everybody happy. They like, yeah, it looks like everything's on the roll. Um, I came, you ready? And so he got his little Michael Jackson uh, thriller, you know, uh, barbershop smock ready. And so then they get ready to take the stage. They got Ty Dolla Sign. He performing. Lucius and Cookie was in the front row. Uh, even Giselle was feeling the little music or whatever. And then Kelly Patel came in. He like, oh, congratulations. Uh, we're happy to see you again. She like, yeah, same here. He like, you know, um, I love to talk with you again about your options and your future. She like, is that right? He said, yeah. How about at my place with Cognac? And then she told him, you know, I'm not going back down that road of being with a man just to get the position I deserve.
nerve. So after uh, Hakeem finished talking, he uh, his performing, he uh, cleaning up, and then Tiana walk in looking all beautiful and sexy, and she all smiles, giving them props. And he said, you know what? I'm glad you're here. I got something for you. And then he handed this little box, and she opened it up, and it's that princess necklace he gave her. And she like, oh, you got it fixed? He like, yeah, it's irreplaceable, just like you. Yeah, I got it so it can be where it belongs. And then he gave it to her and he kind of walked off, leaving her on stuck mode because he just laid down his little pimp game. Meanwhile, we see uh, Jasmine and uh, Tiana performing, looking good. And uh, she all uh, in the zone now. She got her little necklace back. And so now that everything's over, we see in the rap room, uh, Terry is all smiles with, uh, you know, uh, with Cookie. And she's telling her the good news is they gonna have a healthy baby boy and she's like oh they go andre andre come here and she said wait don't tell him let me tell him tomorrow she says all right i'll wait and so then andre comes she said hey andre he said hey terry i just want to let you know i love you she's like well i love you too baby and then she walks away and he kind of looking like a little puppy dog and then he tell cookie and uh you know everybody to come on over and so they come on over a little closer they're like what's going on andre he like look um i just want to let you know that i love you guys and hey hakeem come here man and he gave him a hug he like man i gotta get to my babies he's like i know man but here let me just say i love all of you guys and she like andre is everything okay are you all right he said then luke cook lucia say yeah he's fine he just needs to get a little rest we need to hurry up and get him home so he can get that rest that he needs and so he talking about that long sleep good night and andre he looking like yeah but he's scared and so then next thing you know we see him and lucius enjoying the dinner and he's saying i've called all around and i finally got the right guy that told me your favorite meal while they're eating we see cookie at home and she calling talking about i'm gonna break out the good brand of the night yeah and then she sees the letters that he left and she pick it up and start reading it and it's saying oh mom you know i don't know if i say it enough i love you and she was even whispering i love you too baby and so then uh he's uh sitting there uh she's reading to the part where he's basically saying that he's about to be out of there and so she started trying to call around and she's remembering he said he was gonna he rented a hotel room when she was skating and so now she's running as fast as she can to the car to get there meanwhile lucius is saying you know I questioned your courage when you first were telling me what you wanted to do, but now I understand. And, uh, you know, I admire you. Then he's sitting there and he's by the pills and he said, I need your help, Pops. And he came and brought him a little glass of wine. And so they both was looking at each other man to man. And uh, he was taking the pills out and he was saying, Andre, you don't have to do this. You don't. And so uh, he had the pills in his hand and he just slowly opened it up and uh was putting uh the pills in his hand and he held up the drink as a toast and so uh they were getting ready to toast and he was about to pop the pills when cookie busting through the door andre andre and then she see it knock the stuff out his hand and then she hitting and beating on lucius what you was gonna do kill my firstborn baby and he he got a baby on the way and andre start having a little convulsions while they arguing heart attack and he didn't even take the pills she said andre terry is pregnant and lucius is all shocked and then andre is looking shocked that he about to die and he finding that out she like yeah baby terry pregnant you're gonna be a daddy it's okay and he like what what and, and he can barely keep it together and she's that mad at lucius you what you was doing you was gonna kill my baby how you think you gonna do something like that you ain't no good and he like wait a minute andre and then they run over there andre damn near dead while she trying to chew lucius out and so it was real interesting how they ended that episode episode that he ended up having a damn heart attack without even taking the medicine um and so um i think based off of what they showed on the last clip that kingsley is gonna probably kill himself in order to be a donor for andre a heart donor or something or somehow it's gonna work out that way but um it's pretty interesting how they finally brought this story around full circle so that we can see that it more than likely should be andre in the casket um but i think 
because that uh, Jesse's not on the show anymore. And if they got rid of Andre, that the show would be doomed. And they just signed for season six. So I think that they're going to bring Jesse and Andre back. Um, but that's my opinion, my final thought. And then thanks everybody to support me at patreon.com. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.